to Generation Z. What is racism and does racism exist? You are black so we can't talk to you. You are white, oh we don't do that. I feel like I'm a little bit racist too. What would you say Gen Z is perceive of Africa? I feel like Africa is the thing now. And the beauty of Africa is selling. It's selling. Oh, okay. We are beautiful people. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> if you're out there and you're from Africa, you are kind of the, the thing. Okay. Is, would you say every Gen Z is traumatized? <laughs> like school is a waste of time. Oh, okay. And a waste of energy. So your life, your rules. <laughs> Employee don't, employer don't tell me nothing when I wake up is my problem now as long as your work is done At your 20 you cannot make it past 30. Oh my god <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is Queen Desta and today I'm excited because we have a guest We're bringing in the Gen Z into the conversation into the fun into the let's enjoy life all together So currently we're in a season that it's very rainy is, is there a season like rainy like okay yeah so if you don't know in africa we have two seasons rainy seasons and sunny seasons so it is currently rainy and it has been raining 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 that we can't go out there and just you know unless you really really need to go out there that those are the people that are outside Whew! therefore it is just okay for us to have a sit down and chit chat about what gen z is have to think about the current world and the different things that have been going on and today our guest is now it's not very new but she's new she we've never had like a serious chat on this channel so today i'm excited to hear her mind to hear what she has to say and give it up for my sister faith gender hello guys um kahuna oh okay sorry <laughs> there's a difference between brand names and Home names, mm -hmm. ID names. Oh, ID names. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'd say I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what she's going to ask me. Oh, really? I don't know how far are you gonna take it. Uh -huh. But let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me? Okay. So let's let's start slow, and then we're gonna go like harder questions as we move forward. Okay. And uh, to lay like a background on this conversation, I want you to speak on behalf of Gen Zs. So more like the things that is you and the things that is what you think about the general gen z's okay we can start with a quick like fire mm -hmm. what is a dream destination for gen z's a dream destination yeah that's not individual no 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 i feel like there are some people that have a, a concept okay wow that's new because for me, for me, let's start from me. Yeah. I don't have a specific dream destination. Okay. I want to go to many places. So is this would you say this is then the dream for Gen Z? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they want to experience things from different perspectives. Yeah. Me thinking if most of the Gen Z's think as as I think, mm -hmm. let's say. Yeah, and the people that I have been around, they are yeah, they are yeah, they are like I don't want to settle on some place. Mm -hmm. Settling on one place is not the thing. Yeah. Having experience of different places is the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so fine. If there is no dream destination or place, so having different ex experiences is the thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know an interesting thing, yeah? Like me and my sister, we have some good, don't, don't tell them how many years difference we do have. But <laughs> there are not many. There are not many. <laughs> If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing is, and we've grown from this, we've been raised by the same parents, we've grown up in the same house. So I never expect like a lot of difference, but it just mind blows me. It blows my mind away when I see how, how different we are in the way we do life and in the way we reason and the way we perceive the world. Now then tell me, what do, what would you say is the dream career? For Gen Z's, a hey, content creator. <laughs> <laughs> really? When I grow up, I want to be a content creator. I want to be um, what else? Dancer, musician. Mm -hmm. Um, I in our generation, I don't think the big hype on doctors, engineers, being no, 
Really? Yeah. If you if you hear someone saying that they want to be a lawyer, uh -huh. it's either from influence of their parents or they really, really, really want to. Okay. It's not from <laughs> peer pressure. You know, they, in your generation, it was peer pressure. Yeah. If, if you if you had saying that you want to be an actress or an actor, people will look at you like, are you for real? Are you serious with your life? Yeah. No, not in our generation. So, in our generation, we thought about things to do with like educate no 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 like medicine like being a doctor being a lawyer and all these things as money and i have security in the career that i am in so why would you say content creation what, what is what is driving people to want to do content creation fame oh okay <laughs> and the money <laughs> And living the life, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being the stunner girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I am your dream career. Um, a little bit higher. Than uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm. I love her life still. I love her life. Okay. Okay. That's nice. So in terms of content creation, no, no, like on the same line, tell me about education for Gen Z. Is education of importance? Whoa. <sighs> We know you're still in school. For, for the record, yeah, she's still in school. She is. Uh, it is not optional to study in my father's house. So, <laughs> what did you say? Is I education? <laughs> <laughs> well, also that's a good thing. So, according to Gen Z's, do they love education? Do is it, is that is that something? There is a good percentage mm -hmm. of people who feel like school is a waste of time. Oh, okay and a waste of energy because these are not honestly most of the things that we are being taught let's talk about high school mm -hmm. we're not gonna use it in real life mm -hmm. if you're not going to be a doctor or a or a teacher or a teacher or someone who's working in the chemical farms mm -hmm. some things you might never use them like chemistry where have i used chemistry in my life okay so you feel like what do you need in order to be able to do like the be in the job market uh we feel like teach us what we are going to face mm. teach us what we are going to do out there okay so like well, teachers course is called but then did you hear the latest there's a course now being launched that's called content creation well <laughs> everything is possible <laughs> <laughs> no in universities not like short courses or stuff like this the same way you apply for medicine the same way you apply for videography the same way there's now content creation that's what i mean yeah. because you see um as much as we, we are told that we are the generation that is coming the generation that is in power believes in certificates Okay. I was I was uh, talking to someone and he was telling me, uh, he asked me if I was not doing the course I was doing right, I am doing right now, mm -hmm. what course would I have done? Mm -hmm. I told him I would have done film. And then he told me why. And I told him I just like um, the field and everything that goes with it. It's a creative field. It's all that. Yeah. And he told me, um, so do you practice it? I told him I have not let it go, but mm -hmm. and then he told me you still need the certificates. Why didn't you do film? Mm -hmm. uh, and it was so, hard to explain to him mm -hmm. that some things don't need certificates, but they are the people who are in power. So then you need the certificate. According to them, certificate <laughs> is everything. <laughs> <laughs> but then how? What else? So people should be if then we don't need the certificate. How are we going to vet who has who the, who who got the job and everything? Um, question to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Um, do you need a certificate to be a model? Ah, uh, no. Your body and your work talks for you. Mm. So the same thing. Oh, okay. Interesting. Wow. So, I don't know. What is the perspective? I've been seeing conversations of people calling out Gen Z's in different perspective in terms of, oh, you guys are lazy, or you guys don't know about life, like, even on the positive, or you guys are go-getters, you guys know your work, stuff like this. What, how does that, how does this make you feel as Gen Z's? Um, well, so let's talk about first the point of being lazy. No, no, we are not lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll talk about that on the end. We'll address that in another matter. Continue. <laughs> we're not that lazy. Uh -huh. 
We just love soft life. Okay, <laughs> we, we will talk about soft life as well in a few. <laughs> yeah, and I really feel like Gen Zs have the um, it's, it's the generation that is putting a lot of effort on knowing your worth mm-hmm. and not being used and yeah, simply that because um, the generation that brought us up, we had to do what we are told mm-hmm. exactly yeah. and when you go um let's say into schools and the people in power easily might take advantage of you because let's say you're not um example the prefect might make you do anything just because they want to they want you to and because you're not in power mm-hmm. and that has made us personally me understand that this is my work, this is where I stand and regardless of you being in power or not I will not do some things just to please you mm-hmm. or just to make you feel like a queen or a king mm-hmm. no oh wow huh? Ha, ha. ah okay okay so is wi-fi the most important thing <laughs> <laughs> or internet for that matter <laughs> in a Gen Z's life um where you know you might be having um internet but you don't have power okay <laughs> so just have power and money oh, okay. so power and money when you say power you mean electricity yeah, yeah. Okay, okay 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 power and money mm-hmm. the money will buy the internet mm. okay interesting now i'm keen to know about what are your perspective on me in the career of traveling the world and what does this uh, now i'm driving more into what i talk about on this channel so that's why i'm taking you on the whole idea and concept of traveling the world what is the concept uh, that is sold to you guys or that people are embracing yeah in relation to that um let's first talk about how you travel and how other people travel is a little bit different you mm-hmm. know that mm-hmm. um you make the world see that traveling is not that hard it's not that demanding okay you can actually travel if you want to mm-hmm. but some people some of our good influencers <laughs> they make it seem like this is the life bro this is the life you have to have money you have to have everything so that you travel you see okay so yeah um so travel depends on how you see it so according to gen z is it we travel for the aesthetics good photos or do we travel for the experience hmm. i'm sorry to say this but social media you travel for social media okay, okay. not me I, well. you know i live my <laughs> life off the camera i think most of the time yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now as a psychologist, yeah, I'd love to incorporate. Oh, guys, she's a psychologist. I'd love to incorporate the whole idea and concept of that I've been hearing a lot, or some things that have been trending. Ah, uh, is would you say every Gen Z is traumatized? No. <laughs> okay, no. like a good percentage <laughs> compared. <laughs> no. A good percentage of the people that I've had, like my parents' generation, did you ever hear of those people talking about trauma? Um, I'd say the awareness that is right now okay. was not as much as it was. Like it's not as much as it was right then. Okay, that might make a difference. But you see, right now, um, thanks to social media, which is not a good thing, mm-hmm. it has made. As much as there is this awareness about the sicknesses, the ADHD and all that stuff, people are now self-diagnosing and saying that I am traumatized from... It's just a challenge. Oh, okay. You just face that challenge in your life. It doesn't have to <laughs> traumatize you. Trauma is when you, you can't sleep at night. It's, it's something... I'd, I'd not say that most of us are traumatized. So would you say that most of you are self-diagnosed traumatized? Like yeah, you you'd walk on a random day and be like, and hear someone saying that you know, I have uh, this condition. PTSD. No, no, no one told you. <laughs> no one told you. <laughs> or I've been depressed. 
exactly. and everything, so I have anxiety. Exactly. Yeah. And you're just facing life challenges, mm -hmm. but okay, we, we would say I would say that we kind of exaggerated. Not like I don't want it to seem so harsh, but we actually do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. I I hope you can still hear us. Because I'm really loving this whole concept. Tell me about soft life and what does soft life mean? Like paint a picture for me to understand what soft life is. Soft life. Let's start from here. Mm -hmm. I like my roots. Can you be longer? Okay. Uh, let's start from here. My life, my roots. Okay. So your life, your roots. <laughs> Employee, don't, employer, don't tell me nothing. When I wake up, is my problem now. As long as your work is done. So soft life means my life, my rules. Yes. What about systems? What like, I want, you know, like for example, I guess. in companies or in the world, there are systems that are put in place. Even for example, like in high school, there are systems that were put in place on how people can live. So it's not realistic to be like my life, my rules. Um, you know the con concept of quality over quantity? Okay. As long as my work is good, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be done within an amount of time. But then see, yeah, let's say for example you're working in a company mm -hmm. that has other people that have to depend on you for that to be produced. So what do you mean by, like, let's say for example we are working in an oil manufacturing company. So it, you cannot just come at your hours and you're like, hey, I'm coming in at 9 and then I'm going to do this and then your other workers have come in at a certain specific time and they've done the tasks, you know. As long as it, it is not hurting you. I, I don't I don't see I don't know that's too I okay. <laughs> <laughs> well well uh, I do like, currently have a problem with the whole like, concept of soft life. Which is another discussion we can have on another day because I'm, I'm thinking unfortunately the reason God brought us on earth is so we can work basically. And uh, unfortunately sometimes the work does not always is not always soft. Like even if you ask those people that you're thinking they've made it, they're always trying to solve a certain problem and solving those problems depending on different instances, they have their own potential hard part. So a soft Life is a good concept. I like it. I like how it looks in aesthetics and on Instagram. But we can we can have a whole debate on that. <laughs> what? And in real life. And, and in real life. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So let's talk about gender. Gender. Mm -hmm. So do you guys care for like I'm not, I'm only just saying this. I don't know. Maybe here in Kenya it's it's not yet there that much. But is there the concept of address me in a specific gender concept have you experienced that here yes oh okay tell me about it i'm in school please give an example <laughs> <laughs> i'm in school okay there are all sorts of people in school mm -hmm. Simple. so like you go to someone has it happened to you um okay uh first if you know me you know i'm social okay and there is one thing that myself i am not and my occup occupation, mm -hmm. occupation does not allow. Oh, does not allow. Does not <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Being judgmental. Oh, okay. So, in everything, um, you have to be accommodative. Mm -hmm. I have met people who are not straight, and who prefer to be called as they want to, and it's just like the way I would call you your second name, and you feel like, uh, don't call me that. I prefer this other name. Mm. That's how I view it. Okay. It's not that it's, it's not that complicated because, as much as we try to, um, let me say, what is this word? Um, isolate them, like these people who want to be referred to or they identify as something else that is not the same as us. As much as we want to isolate them, saying that they are so against the society's rules and all of that I don't think according to the Bible that a sin there is a sin bigger than the other okay the sin that they are doing is almost just the same as the normal line that we do I'm in agreement with that but I'm thinking there are sins that have more consequences than others but still the consequences don't affect you it is their personal they know why they sat down and decided 
this is the path I'm going to follow. Okay. And that is not in your place to judge. Okay, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. So, let's say, um, um, this is just an example. I have now decided that I am not going to be straight anymore. I know what led me to that decision. I know what made me feel like I did not fit in this other side. And at the end of it all, if I'm going to get anything, mm -hmm. it's only me who's going to know the... It's not only me, the people who are around me are going to feel the, the pinch, but I'm going to feel the biggest blow. Okay. True? Yeah. And that does not change my whole personality. I am an individual as I am, I am a human as I am. That should, that should not take the whole fact away. Okay. These are people just like us. Mm. Whew, okay, respect to that thought. Well, <laughs> when we come to the millennials, we have a whole, or at least I believe we have a different whole perspective, but it also depends. With, as well as all these concepts, they narrow down to individuals, and the individuals can have different perspectives on this matter. Now, tell me, you know I love Africa, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say Gen Z's perceive of Africa? I feel like Africa is the thing now. Oh, okay, tell me more. Um, as much as, okay, Africa and UK is the thing. <laughs> Africa and UK. <laughs> <laughs> Africa and UK is the thing now. Okay, yeah. um, uh -huh. if people are out there, according to how I'm doing social media, yeah. if you're out there and you're from Africa, you are kind of the, the thing. Okay, and so then when the I can, I, I don't how, how I'm can I explain the thing that <laughs> makes me feel like I'm too old, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> please. Majority of my viewers are uh, on the other side of the world, like beyond your age. Explain what you mean by the thing, like it's outstanding. Oh, okay, okay, okay. yeah, that's what's trending, or oh, not really trending, okay. but I feel like that's how things are naturally, okay, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's not as um, Africa, uh, African people are slaves mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. It's more of these are actually good people. Okay. I feel like that's the the thing that is going on. Mm -hmm. That's how the, that's the feeling that is circulating. Yeah. I hope it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might be covered in my own <laughs> <laughs> thinking that everything is good, but yeah. when I go out there, it's, I hope it's not the different side of it. Okay, so let's get specific into Africa. Like, what? Oh, oh, wait. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the beauty of Africa is selling. It's selling. Oh, okay. We are beautiful people. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. So, as Gen Z's, what Kenyan Gen Z's for this matter, what are your thoughts on Nigeria? Uh uh. Maybe <laughs> the moment I hear Nigeria, I, I see those um, Bollywood. What is this? No. Oh, really? No, they are, they are, they are, they are, the Nigerian yeah. movies? Yes. Yeah. That have to joke. No. That's the first thing that gets wrong. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Do you know how we downplay sometimes the power of the media? And it's so crazy because I also grew up thinking that Nigeria that the whole perspective. And then now you continue living life and you get to learn about this whole new perspective of Nigerians until you get to interact with Nigerians themselves and you get to appreciate who they are as a people. Anyway, tell me then about South Africa. Hey, South Africa is the cool country now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it has the cool people in mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what about Kenya? Kenya. Mm -hmm. Don't don't mess with Kenya. Don't mess with Kenya. They'll come, come at you. you. <laughs> this is <a> consistent. <laughs> we can live anywhere. <laughs> oh, okay, that as well. Yeah, we have a big skin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about living abroad? So before, there's a whole concept of if you leave your country and you go out there, um, you've made it. But this has begun to be exposed. I don't know if it's getting to the Gen Zs. And what would you say about Gen, Gen Z's perspective of living abroad, studying abroad? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll classify this as two, two mm -hmm. things, okay? Mm -hmm. There is that concept to the people who are living, we're talking still about Kenyans. Okay, you can start with Kenyans. The people who are living in the urban areas and the rural areas. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what's... what's I have like? an experience with both. Okay, tell us. Um, people from the urban areas don't 
really think that that's the thing. Mm -hmm. They understand the concept of um, you don't have to go there. You can work and get how much they get from there while you're still here or from anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Get me? Mm -hmm. But from people who are in the rural areas, they feel like um, if I go to Maju or if I go to the country, that's yeah. the thing. Like you are out there, like for it, it's a big milestone. But once you come to the urban areas, it's not big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. It's just the way, um, let's say, what is it? Like flying. Mm -hmm. Once I fly, my, my world is not in flying. <laughs> we have seen people go and yeah. come back the way they were. It was. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay, interesting. What would you say is misunderstood about, misunderstood about Gen Z? Eh, I have a feeling you go back to the lazy concept. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we are not lazy. Yeah. Hmm. So you feel like that is misunderstood. You guys are very hardworking. Uh, oh, the very part is where I do. <laughs> Let's say we can be hardworking when we want to. Oh, when okay. it needs us to do something, we will do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. There's this phrase that has really been used, and we've also started using it. Uh, we've been using it. It's the, the thing about generations, it's very interesting how sometimes you can steal things from like this generation to another generation and stuff like this. But one word I want to understand what it means is making it. So... <clears throat> Hmm. What is Gen Z's perspective of making it? Is making it a Gen Z term? No. N no. no. But it has, it's been... Oh, okay. It has always not? been there. Okay, it has always been there. So what is making it in the Gen Z world? Has making it always been there? You think mom was like, hey, we've made it. You think so? They had their own version of it, but, but yeah, 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 it was still there. The concept was, like, I think everything has been there, kind of. Like for example, maybe uh, at their time they weren't saying that's a thing. We would say something different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, making it. Mm -hmm. um, first, it has to be at a young age bracket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like at your twenties. You cannot make it past that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Made it like that, you know. It is not for making it. <laughs> we start looking for success now. <laughs> okay. But you're a little bit too late. Mm. So yeah, making it is, let's say, no, not let's say, you have money, you have, um, let's talk about in the relationship side, okay. you have a standing relationship. Oh, even relationship has to be there. Yeah. Okay. And what else? And you have like you have your own net worth. You get me? And a good social media um presence. So the numbers have to be there. <laughs> the pressure is high. Like I, I take me back to my mother's season <laughs> where she only cared of do I have but, but I feel like the pressures of making it have always been there in different capacities. Yeah, I true. feel like I'm thinking out loud. For my parents, because that's a good Children. perspective I'm loving to look about, is kids, no, 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 get married, have kids, and have a job. Like, if you have a 9 to 5, then uh, I feel like that is what was the definition of making it, right? Oh, and that money, please, it's not a 9 to 5 job. Oh, okay, so making it in the Gen Z perspective is be self-employed or be an entrepreneur. Which one? Either. Oh, as long okay. as you don't have to work, like, the whole day. It is, it's like... As an entrepreneur, we work more than we more than the nine to five. So this does not make sense. Anyway, continue. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't. You get what I'm saying. You have it some free time to go and exactly. use the money. <laughs> if you wanna choose tomorrow, I'm going to Dubai. Oh, become a forex trader. <laughs> That's what people are doing. <laughs> well, I've done nothing against forex trading. I've only just said so. Have a following. Have a working relationship, or, or so it appears on social media, <laughs> or people out there, and and have okay social media 
money. money. So money. this money should have done what to your life? I'm assuming have a car, have a good car. Oh, good car. Uh huh. Not, not a car. Not, not a Audi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Audi. Not just a car. Like. <laughs> not with. Not with. Hey, oh, okay, okay. What okay. is that? Okay. So. so. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> have a car. Mm -hmm. You have to have a good house, mm -hmm. a good car. No, oh, okay, good car is number one. Okay, uh huh. A good house, mm -hmm. um, a good social media following, like a good that's like a hundred thousand and above, or oh, fifty is acceptable. Mm. Twenty, but but on a trend. Oh, okay, <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> At least once in a while we see you on the for you page. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Um, okay, I've even seen that on TikTok 100k. Not that I have a big following, but 100k is not much. It's not much. So you have to be like in the 500 and above. No, like you might be having 500k, but your people are not seeing you. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So it's just not a following. It has to be moved all across all social media. Exactly. Videos. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Like when you go to Instagram on the, on the search, you see them, mm. they are here. Yeah, and then you also have to be in a relationship. Yes, it has to be on a good, like, on a working relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that... It can even be individual, by the way. I don't know. Hmm. I, I feel like the relationship part for me is more me than my friends. So, question is, uh, I've seen a lot of young couples being like, okay, let's settle, they have kids and they now start raising kids. Based on my generation, if you had kids in between, in your age, it's like you failed. You, you don't know what you're doing with your life. You have not made it. But there has been, I would say, a normalization on being young parents. Would you say this is true? Young parents, and uh, I'm not sure if I want kids, I prefer pets. Um, I'm sorry to my parents for saying this. But I actually admire those families who have children at this age. Okay. At a young age. Mm -hmm. And I also kind of understand those people who will choose not to have children and have pets instead. Okay. So it's a concept. So you agree with it? Is it, is it a Gen Z thing? Is it? I feel it's our thing. Mm, okay, okay. Interesting. Wow. I am still, I'm still a millennial. No kids, please. Not now. Yes, no kids, not now. <laughs> oh God, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> if you're new for, if if you've been watching my channel for some time, yeah, you will know that I also have another channel where we react on things in relation to me being an African, the Black American community, as well as the Caribbean. And this was greatly inspired by me getting married to a Black American and getting to learn that so many things about us that I did not understand. So I'm keen to ask her a few concepts in relation to that. So, according to Generation Z, what is racism and does racism exist? First, racism exists very, very, very much. Okay. Yeah. And what is racism? Treating someone in a certain way because of their color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, still, racism exists. Do you, do you think the Gen Z are giving it enough conversation on the same or they understand it fully um i feel like it's not a big concept for us mm -hmm. because we look at who's like who the person is most of the time yeah. it's not based on you are black so we can't talk to you you are white oh we don't do that i feel like i'm a little bit racist too okay <laughs> wow <laughs> that's a lot of confidence <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yeah because they are People, I won't stay at home. <laughs> yeah, I would. I, I am not really comfortable being around. Yeah. Oh wow, interesting. But that's that's an ancient concept. That's an ancient <laughs> racism is an ancient concept. <laughs> so if racism is an ancient concept, tell me about colonization and what do even. Gen Z scare about colonization or anything like that, the Western media influence on like Africa or other countries. I feel like your generation cares too much about it. Too much? Like a little bit too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> More than my parents' generation. Um, 
they are the ones who are colonized so i, I think that well, no that's not true my parents are not the ones who are colonized not, not, not our parents parents look, like, like the generation <laughs> those are the that is the generation that viewed the colonization okay, 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 you get me yeah so like they were like because of these rules you have to follow what they are doing mm-hmm. now your generation feels like um we have to rescue our our culture we have to rescue our culture <laughs> You have wow. to be there. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Superman. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. And you and you um for us. <laughs> you get to choose where you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If today I wake up and be like I like the Maasai culture, mm-hmm. I will learn the Maasai culture and practice it. Okay. Regardless of where I'm from. Mm-hmm. So if you feel like today you want to learn the German culture, you go to the German and you learn it. Exactly. Oh, interesting. That is why I want to go to Ethiopia and learn their culture and practice it. Yeah, I am so happy to sit here and say I am a proud influencer. <laughs> At least to my sister of Ethiopia anyway. <laughs> I don't even need those credits, you know. I I, I know. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. That's nice. I've really enjoyed hearing your perspectives on different pers- different things. And uh, thank you so much for sharing. Anything that you want us to that you 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 just want people to know. Um, guys, just try just try listening to to Genesis. Oh, you feel like they're not listening to you? No, like. Don't be like our agency what is, what are they telling me? Ah okay. Yeah. We are wise. We are very wise. Do you approve? Are we wise? <laughs> you know that like, this is you you putting me on the spot. You put <laughs> on the spot <laughs> because yes. you don't mean. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, but the good thing with life is we continue we keep growing and uh we've been learning a lot in relation to like legacy and that's why I got this concept of thought in relation to like Gen Z and just because you are here we could have this conversation and I'm so happy to have you here let me know in the comment section some things you would or that, something that you feel was interesting in this conversation I'd love to hear and your perspective of the world on the different topics that we've talked about so if you want to find my sister where do they get you At life with Kahuna Wamboy across all social medias. Mm, at life with Kahuna Wamboy. Wamboy. Ah, oh, nice. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. And always, 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 I remember to pay time for that to check night your soul. Until next time. Bye. bye.